hi guys welcome back to our channel again in this video i will show you how you can synchronize the gmail contract and your iphone contracts all together so we'll see how we can synchronize from our iphone to gmail and second we will see how we can synchronize from gmail contract to our iphone contracts and i will show you both and then finally we'll see how we can actually edit and then we can uh, see how the synchronization is working. So here in this video, I will use my Gmail account and uh, my iPhone account. Okay, all together, and I will show you the step by step. And finally, I will compare uh, between these two things: this phone and this uh, browser all together, whether it is properly working properly or not. So let's. And get started but before going to the main video tutorial i will request you if you are new to our channel or still if you didn't subscribe please subscribe to our channel and now let's get started to sync contacts between your iphone and the gmail contact at first we need to go to the settings thing so i am tapping on top the settings and then it will access the settings page of iphone now if you scroll down a little bit you will see there is an option it is called password and accounts uh, we need to access there because at the beginning we need to link our gmail account if we don't link our gmail account we cannot sync our uh, google gmail account with this iphone contract okay so at first we need to access this link so i am tapping on top of the passwords and accounts and then it will come this page here you will see there are many options are there but we will not go all of the options we need here this option add account because we need to connect our gmail account or we need to link our gmail account from this iphone so we have to uh, choose this option and if you tap on top of the add account then it will give us option to add our gmail account so i'm going to tap on top of the add account and then it will open this type of menu here you will see couple of options are there icloud microsoft exchange google and so on our target is to link our gmail account okay so we have to choose this option so i'm going to tap on top of the google and then it will give us this type of warning or alert that settings wants to use google.com to sign in this allows the app and website to share information about you so we know that that we are trying to link our contacts between this iphone and the gmail contract so this is on top of sharing so we have to choose the continue button so here is the continue button so i'm going to tap on this continue button once i tap the continue button it will go to accounts.google.com and it will ask you to put your username and password at the beginning it will ask you the gmail username so i'm typing my gmail username over here my gmail username is a uh, few steps so i am typing few steps dot then email so this is my gmail address so i just typed over there and once i type the gmail address then we have to tap this next button to go to the next step so i am tapping on top of the next and then it will ask me to put the password so i am typing my password over here once i complete typing my password over here then we have to hit this next button one more time and finally once we hit the next button then the account uh, will be logged in successfully if we put our username and password correctly and you will find this type of page uh, so here uh, at the beginning you will see the gmail that means this is the configuration for gmail all of these settings the first is mail then contact calendars and notes so our target is to sync only the contracts not mail or calendar but if you wish you can also sync all of them so what i am to do i'm going to uh, do i'm trying to off the mail and calendars because i don't want to sync up these things okay i want to sync only the contacts that's why i put uh, this thing on so if it is green color that means that is on and if it is like this type of uh, not green color then that means that is off so to switch on anything you have to put uh, this green mark to make it on so contact is on now uh, for your case if it like this then just tap on top of it again then it will be like this this green color okay so when the contacts are in this green color mode that means we are oh, we turned on the contacts and then once you complete these settings then we have to uh, tap on this save link so i am going to tap on the save button and then it will save our account and it will go back to our previous page and here you will see 
the Gmail account is added and if you tap up on top of it then you will see the details of that account for my case it is showing that uh, this is my account uh, fewsteps.email at gmail.com and right now it is synchronizing only the contacts that's why it is on but if you wish you can uh, turn on other settings also if you need but I'm not going to do this thing so this part is done now go back to our accounts I'm tapping on top of the accounts and it will go uh, back to this page okay so in this way uh, at first you need to link your gmail account so that part is done now the second step so second step is paste new data okay so this is one of the important settings just tap on, on top of it and it will show you uh, this type of page and at the bottom you will see uh, it is showing that there are a couple of options to face the data on is automatically and there is manually and there is hourly and there is 30 minutes and there is 50 minutes so based on your uh, desired settings you can turn on whichever you want to do this thing but for my case automatically is fine so I am not going to change this but if you want to um, upload or download that means to sync your data like your Google uh, your iPhone contacts with Gmail contact then you can switch like 15 minutes or 30 minutes whatever you wish okay so I'm not going to change this thing and remember one thing this thing must be turned on that means this push should be turned on otherwise um, your uh, contacts will not be synced with your Gmail account so once you complete this thing then go back to accounts and this is done so the gmail settings uh, uh, option is completely successful now there is another settings we need to complete so go back to settings again and you will be in this page so from here you have to search the contacts so somewhere there is contact so generally the contact is just below the password and accounts and after one or two options you will find the contact so we have to access this contact now so i'm going to tap on top of this contacts and then it will come this page okay so from here we have to do some other settings so by default you will see that default account should be icloud or something else okay so we need to change this thing so to change this thing actually what we have to do we have to tap on on top of it and then once we tap it then it will show this type of thing the default account so right now it is showing that icloud is the default account but we need to change it to gmail because we want to uh, sync our contacts with the gmail contact and iphone together okay so i'm tapping on top of the gmail and it will switch to gmail and you will see there is a blue color uh, tick mark on top of this selection okay once you do this thing go back and you will see here the default account is gmail now okay so that's all guys and then after that go back to settings and you can turn off this thing now let's check whether this is synchronizing or not now i open on browser this is chrome browser and this is my iphone okay so here we'll see how uh, this contact synchronization is working okay so to access the google contacts from your uh, browser we have to access this link uh, contacts.google.com so i'm going to this link contacts.google.com and i'm going to hit this link and it will ask you to put your username and password so i will quickly uh, logging my gmail account uh, that email address which i showed you like fewsteps.email so this is my email address then i have to type the password of this email address once you type the password just click next uh, to logging your gmail okay so here it is showing the contacts.google.com right now there is no contact right so what we will do we will actually create one contact and we will see whether this contact is able to synchronize between these two from iphone to this uh, gmail contact or from gmail contact to uh, this iphone okay so at first i am going to my iphone and here i will see there is a plus icon okay so i am going to add on new contact okay suppose the contact name is test1 okay so i just uh, type it and let me put a dummy phone number like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero for example this is my phone number okay so once you type this thing uh, click on uh, just tap on the done and the phone number will be saved okay now go back to contact and just refresh okay and this number we are seeing test on okay now come to contacts so we don't see anything over there so if we refresh then we will see the contact will be synchronized just refresh it and you will see the contact is there right so this part actually i created using my phone and now we see that it is able to update the contact in uh, gmail account gmail contract right 
so in this way we can actually do now let's do one thing now i will create one contact here from this chrome browser and then we'll see whether this is able to sync this contact to my iphone so to co add a new contact i'm going to click this uh, button create contact and then it will uh, pull this type of thing so i'm going to create a contact and then it will uh, give us uh, to create a contact suppose our contact name is test 2 for example and the phone number is uh, 9170000 for example the phone number is something like that okay and then this is our example phone and dummy phone number then click save okay now it is able to save this thing then we can close it and right now in my gmail contact there is two contact right test one and test two for example okay uh this is uh this is a spell mistake i did intentionally i show you how we can update and we can sync that thing that's why i did this thing okay now test two now switch to our iphone so i am switching my iphone and i'm going to contacts and then what i'm doing i'm refreshing my uh, my page actually this page and you will see very shortly uh, the test two is there right this address is there so if we click on this thing you will see the contact details also and if we click here in the browser uh, you will see all the details are there exactly same so it is synchronizing okay so now let's do one thing so we saw how we can actually add contact in my iphone and then it is synchronized with google contact and we also saw that if we add a new contact here and if we come our iphone it is also synchronizing so both ways it is working now let's do one thing let's modify so suppose this is tes1 so we want to modify so to modify this if we click here this pencil icon the edit contact and then if we try to type that is another t test and then click save okay now it is updated in the uh, gmail account okay now let's come to our iphone and let's check whether it is able to uh, refresh it or not right now we are seeing that it is test right this one okay so it's not updating right so what i have to do we have to refresh this page so i'm going to refresh and let's see whether it is able to do it or not okay it's done right it is able to update the details right so in this way guys you can easily synchronize uh, the contacts between your iphone and gmail contract and it's very easy and simple uh, you just need to follow the steps which I just mentioned. So guys, that's all. Thank you for watching. And if you have any issues or problem, please put in the comment section. If you feel this video is useful for you, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.